Yes. Shall we just have some moment, please? That's wonderful. Is that not wonderful? I mean, I mean, this is great. <laughs> I have heard this song sung somewhere before. But not as the way she has rendered it tonight. When you are singing that wonderful song, that beautiful song, the Holy Spirit was giving me a special message for her. Shall we have our seat, please? Thank you. And I will tell you that special message in the presence of these wonderful children of God in this church. Thus says the Lord, Stand firm, my child. Guide jealously the gifts and the ministry I have committed into your hand. Do not allow the devil to take it away from you. Beware. Be careful. Be watchful. Because I am going to use you beyond your widest dream. I will put songs in your mouth that will set the captives free. Amen. I will give you song that will heal the brokenhearted. Amen. And I will cause your voice to be heard in many nations of the earth. Amen. Only if you honor me with your life. Only if you hearken to my voice. And only if you do things that are pleasing in my sight. Says the Spirit of the Lord. Let's give another applause for Jesus. Please go and have your seat, please. More, more, more. Hallelujah. do things in the dark. I'm not hiding him. I've told you, one day you will know him. But Shadze, eh? let me know him. Eh? Let me know him. Do you even know why I want to know him? Eh? Do you know? Okay, why? Hmm. Tell me. Shadze, you are very different. You are unique. You are not like one of us. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Sadi. I am fed up of everything. I have gone round the north. Eh? I want to settle down. It's high time I settle down. 
with a nice and understanding guy. But I don't seem to find any nice guy who wants to settle down with me. They keep passing me on like a relay button. Hmm. Shadi, I am afraid if I don't find a nice guy to settle down with, I will become a senior girl. And I have never liked that. I have never desired that. Never. Shadi, I know I have lived a very rough life. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> it matters. It matters. See, you say it doesn't matter. Because you, do, you have not lived the type of life that I have lived. You have been religious all your life. <laughs> okay, tell me. Hmm? Tell me. What do you know about night gigs, disco parties, one night stands, even with men that you do not know, have not seen, or have never even met them before? Shadi, I have been involved with about 20 men. <laughs> going deeply involved with about 15 of them and when I mean deeply involved eh, I mean deeply involved do you know that for some of them I go out with them for as long as 6 months before they throw me out and go for other ladies they use me and dump me. They have cheated me. If I live in America, I would have shot some of them by now. Believe me. Amen. But that will have compounded your problem because God will have looked on you as a murderer. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm not already a murderer. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> you have visitors, ma. Who? This lady. Mm -hmm. oh. You are welcome, sirs. Good afternoon, sister. Mm, good afternoon, sir. I am Reverend Dr. Ola Johnson from Deliverance Revival Tabernacle, Abuja. And here is Barrister Godwin Uzo of the Lord Reigns Pentecostal Mission, also at Abuja. What can I do for you, sirs? Well, like we earlier said, we are from Abuja, and we are here representing the Joint Evangelical Ministers to invite you to the third Abuja Joint Evangelical Ministers Conference coming up very soon. You know, to minister to us in song as a guest music artist. Mm. Abuja. But when is the program coming up? Actually, we are very sorry to have come so late. Someone just told us the need to invite you as the female guest music minister. We have also invited Panam Pasipo, who will be joining us from Joss. And what's, when is the program coming up? Well, the program is coming up this Thursday. And uh, you will be featuring, say, on Saturday, say around 2 p.m. But that's too close. I will be in the office on Friday till 4 p.m. There is no way I can travel 
from Ibadan to Abuja on Saturday morning and prepared to minister by 2 p.m. Oh, well, that's no problem at all. Adequate arrangement has been made to take care of that. If you actually be coming, well, getting to Abuja shouldn't take you more than two to three hours. I beg your pardon, sir. I want you to understand something is like, I understand that you are a worker and you are not in full-time ministry. If not, we will have arranged for an hotel accommodation for you. But uh, as it is now, we will be mandated to arrange for a flight ticket, a return flight ticket mm -hmm. to Abuja. And um, if you are early enough, you should be in Abuja by 11 a.m. on Saturday and later by 7 p.m. You should be back at Ibadan. All right. I will come. Thank you. Where is the program holding? Abuja Sheraton Hotels and Towers. We will arrange for someone to pick you at the airport down to the venue and, and he will take you back after you finish your ministration. Yeah. We just want you to minister to the people. <laughs> okay. I'm sure he comes, sir. Okay. So, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. God bless you. you. We respect you. Thank you. You know the end. He gave me another assignment. Mm -hmm. But you made a statement. You said that my past life did not matter. And you said something too, which actually made me curious. You said, Am I sure you are not a mortal? <laughs> You need to explain that to me. Shadi, I thought you ought to have understood all that I said by now. Remember I told you that I have been involved with about 20 men. And out of these 20 men, I have been deeply involved with about 15 of them. Hmm. To be candid, Shadi, I actually lived 
with nine of them. Hmm? But they all used me and dumped me. <laughs> I almost poisoned one of them. When he pushed me out of his house and served me his wedding invitation card a week after. Can you imagine that nonsense? But you have not yet murdered him, have you? Ah, sorry, you, my friend Shadi. You are such a religious lady. You are so innocent. That's why you have so much peace. Do you know about evacuation? Evacuation? You mean the literal meaning? No. Slang! Evacuation means removing an unborn child from the womb before it matures. That's abortion, isn't it? <laughs> That's layman's language. We call it evacuation. Does that mean you won't commit an abortion? Not once. Not twice. Several times. You now see why I told you that I had lived a very rough life. And you say all this does not matter? Yes, that is correct. Let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like snow. Who said that? The Lord said that to you. As the heaven is far from the heart, so will I make your sins to be far away from you. Hmm? Is that also in your Bible? Neither. However terrible your life must have been, there is a provision for you in the word of God. If you will come to Jesus. And nobody ever told me this. They all made me believe that my scattered life could never be gathered together again. <laughs> and I always believed that my sins were too many. I'm beyond pardon. <laughs> That is not true. That is not true. In first John chapter 1, verse 8 to 9. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins 
and to clean up from all unrighteousness. Do you believe this, William? I believe, Shadi. I believe. But can my life really be changed? Can I be new again? Shadi, I have lived a very horrible life. My past life has been very horrible. <laughs> <laughs> sinful life. I want to start life afresh again. God! Neither. Do you want to accept Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior now? Yes. Please come. Yes. I mean, He will change my life. And give me a new life. Then, He can help me. Please call for that. They need them before Him now. And accept Him as a Lord. He will now say this after me. My Lord and my God, my Lord and my God, I come to you today, Lord. I come to you today, Lord, with my sins, with my sins. I believe, I believe that you are my Lord and Savior, that you are my Lord and Savior. I'm a sinner, Lord. I'm a sinner, Lord. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my sins.
Sorry for keeping you waiting. Where is a king's sleep? You ought to have been here by now. What was he doing? He came here now and he went out. Wanted to show this and the school file to the assistant pastor. Oh well, Sister Shade. I thought you would give us a special number this morning. I couldn't hear anything from you yesterday, so I did not include you in the program for the morning service. I wasn't an Antra yesterday, sir. I came back around 7 p.m. Have you traveled? You went somewhere? Yes, sir. I went to minister at um, Abuja Joint Evangelical Ministers Conference. Abuja yes, sir. Joint Evangelical Ministers Conference? <laughs> How did you make it? And you came back by 7 p.m.? I went and I came by here, sir. They made an arrangement for my flight ticket. Ah. They made an arrangement for your flight ticket? Yes. <laughs> That's wonderful. That is wonderful. Hmm. The Lord had said so. He said he will use you throughout this country and beyond. Just stick to his word. Stick to his word. And he will fulfill his promises. Amen. Oh, Brad Kingsley. You've kept us waiting. Have your seat. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, the assistant pastor oh. asked me to give him the report of the Sunday school meeting today. Okay. That's all right. Just have your seat, please. Thank you, sir. Your seat, please. Yeah. Now, I decided to call you to ask about the matter we discussed last week. Have you both prayed about it? Because I have to know the date as quickly as possible so as to include it in the church calendar. And if the date has clashed, with another fixed program, then you will have to choose another date. Well, um, well, thank you, sir. We have prayed, and um, by the grace of God, we have fixed the date for 11th of November. Uh huh. This year, 11th of November. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's about nine months to this time. Let me check my diary. That's almost nine months to this time. Eleventh November. Oh. Well, the date is free. Uh. <laughs> There's no program there, but I was thinking you will fix it for August or September. Is 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 November not too far? Um, because everybody, the church, the elders, including me, we are looking forward towards the wedding of our dear Sister Shade and the school superintendent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, actually we were hoping that uh, it will come much earlier than that also. Mm -hmm. But I have to do my... Um, Institute of Bankers professional exam, which is coming up in September. And so we want to make sure that we put all those things behind us so we can give a good attention to the wedding program. That's all right. That's all right. And you will have enough time to prepare. Yeah. And uh, I will mark it down in my diary. Yes. I do hope the bride will still sing on her wedding day. <laughs> uh, I hope so too, Pastor. I'm looking forward to that. That's all right. That's all right. Thank you, right. Thank Thank you Pastor. Pastor.
problem. No. Give me two minutes. I want to say this. Ah, ah. Who owns this? Eh? Brother Kingsley? No. You. It's yours. Mine. <laughs> Remember, you told me yesterday that today is your birthday. Yes. Have uh -huh. you forgotten? Uh -huh. <laughs> you are giving me this as a birthday present. <laughs> what is it? Eh? What is it, Shade? What? Give me this, Shade. Hey, I can't do it. being born again into the lost family. You are right. Hey, thank you, Shade. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so when are you leaving for home? When Brackensley comes. Eh? Brackensley coming today? He's coming to pick me. He wants to go and see his mom at Bodija. Ah, hey, you guys. <laughs> Tell me, Shade, for how long have you been in courtship? Hmm. For about one and a half years now. Hmm. So when are you getting married? Very soon. We are fixed the date. 11th November. Yeah. <laughs> this year? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby. Shadi. When Brother Kingsley comes, both of you are going to pray for me. That the Lord will give me a man who will love me and with whom I can settle down to serve the Lord. <laughs> you are right on time. Brad Kingsley, this is my friend, Mabel. You are welcome. Thank you. Hi, Mabel. I'm pleased to meet you. Thank you, sir. My friend has been saying a lot of about you and I've been longing to meet you. I'm so pleased to meet you. Thank you. I understand you just gave your life to Jesus. Yes. Shade preached to me. Well, I wouldn't say preaching. She read some scriptures for me from the Bible and the Holy Spirit took over from there. And she led me to the Lord. You see why she always remain my best friend? That's great. I'm very happy for you. I'm good. So how have you been enjoying Jesus? Ah, since I gave my life to Jesus Christ, I have had peace. I've been attending church programs, and I like everything I hear in the church programs. Interesting. She came to our church on Sunday. Really? <laughs> wow. Brother yes. Kingsley, yes. I want you and Shadi to pray for me. Okay. That the Lord will settle me down in a home. Where I can serve the Lord. I too want to serve the Lord. Yeah. Okay. Let's just hold our hands and agree together in prayer. Okay. okay? Father, we come together in agreement for your daughter, whom you have brought out of the darkness of this world and translated into your marvelous light. That you will fulfill your promise which you said in your word that remember not the former things yes, neither consider the things of old behold i will do a new thing now and it shall spring forth shall you not know it i will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert yes, lord I receive that too. I cling to that. Thank you, Father, for our said prayers. Thank you, Lord. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. That's it. I'm good. Good. Mm -hmm. Brother Kingsley, where have you just quoted now? I want to write it down. And I'm going to note it in my new Bible. Interesting. That's uh, Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43. Mm -hmm. Verse 18 and 19. Thank you. <laughs> Shall we? Coming back tomorrow, you know. Ah, thank mm -hmm. God. That means that I don't have to come back here again, Abimama. Mm. Don't worry. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will pass the message across to him. Eleventh okay. of November, isn't it? Oh yes. yes. Okay. Shadi, yes, me. Have the people known about the date? Mm. We go and inform them next week. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I do it, Kitty. <laughs> I do it, Kitty. It's very far, Abby. Uh, Mama, don't worry. <laughs> we'll go over the weekend. Okay. Hmm? Shadi? Yes, Mama. How about knowing your people? Mm. We, we go and discuss with them and back and we feed you back. Okay, that's all right. Oh. Mama? Hmm? Thank you very much for the meal. Okay. It's getting late. I think we should be going now. Okay. It's uh, 8 o'clock already. And um, Chadi didn't bring her car. Okay. Means that I will have to first of all drop her at home before going to my own house. Okay. Miss Shadi Pass. Thank you. Mm, thank you very much. Both of you. Um, Shadi, yes, I have a gift for you. <laughs> Let me go and bear it. Shade, what about the demo tip you said you'll give me? 
I forgot to take it to the office. Mm, it's a tool, but I will give you when you drop me. But make sure you listen to him tonight and bring it back to me tomorrow morning. Actually, I was hoping to listen to it in the car. I'll just listen to it now and give it back the tape. But no problem. I'll make sure I listen to it before I sleep.
concern. You can't remain quiet like this. You must talk to me. Shati. I don't like this. I can't believe this is happening to me. Me too. I don't like it either. But the Lord will help us. It will never happen again. Never. Go, Casey. Good night. Are you annoyed with me? No. It's getting late. Go home. I believe very strongly this will never happen again. <laughs> but why? Kisly, why? Why can't we wait for the right time? Oh, you. It's an excuse to pretend it. before the Lord, to minister to his people. <laughs> Come on, Shade. Come on. <laughs> Don't forget, this will never happen again. Has it ever happened before? No. Listen, I know this is unholy. I know this is not right. But I, I just, I just hope that Lord will forgive us this thing. Shadi. Good night. Yesterday. Ta -da 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 -da. Ta -da -da what? It 
received an invitation letter. I'm invited to come and minister at um, a dinner organized by Christian Barkers um, Fellowship. This come is Saturday at the Premier Hotel. Hey, Shade, you are just being invited to minister everywhere. Hardly a weekend passes by without you being invited to minister somewhere. Now, uh, sometimes. I ministered in four different places within a weekend. In fact, I turned down several invitations, especially those that fall within the weekdays. Shanti, I'm having this strong feeling in my spirit that very soon you might have to go into full-time ministry. You see, if you really want to serve the Lord in this ministry and satisfy the desires of the people, then you have to go into full-time ministry. because. These invitations are just getting too much and people are being blessed by your ministry. Maybe. Oh, don't you feel I'm right, eh? Don't you feel I'm right? <laughs> you are right, Mabel. Because last year, December, while I was ministering during the New Year Eve service, the Lord spoke through my pastor to me that he will use me around this country, even beyond. I don't think that can be possible while I stay work here five days per week. You see what I was saying? So I know I'm going full time very soon. Even Kingsley also believed this. Hi, is brother Kingsley. <laughs> it's fine. I saw him four days ago. Shade, you know what? Since I gave my life to Jesus Christ, several temptations have come knocking at my door. But I thank God. He has been helping me. Mm, I saw Wilson yesterday. Who is Wilson? Ah, an old boyfriend of mine. We had gone out for about four months before he traveled to the US and then he came back and came to my house yesterday planning to take me out to a night party. I refused. Mm -hmm. He tried to touch me. I resisted violently. He opened his he, he, he took out his purse from his pocket, opened it, and counted five $100 bills and gave them to me. Ha. I rejected them. I told him he was mistaken, that I was not the lady he left in this country before he traveled to the U.S., that I was now transformed and regenerated. I once was blind, but now I see that I was born again. Then, I showed him the Bible you gave to me as a present. Then he understood. And what did he do next? Ah. <laughs> what will he do? He put his $500 bills back into his purse, and he was walking away. I called him back and I said, Jesus loves you too. <laughs> he looked at me walked away and slammed my door. <laughs> well, <laughs> Mabel, I believe the Lord is just teaching you the ability to trust the devil hmm. and to stand firm and uphold faith in order to enjoy all the promises of God for your life. I believe so too, Shadi. What frightens me most it's what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. Free fornication. Every other sin a man commits is outside his body. But he that commits fornication sins against his own body. As for me, oh, I want to glorify God in my body. And I'm also in my spirit. Ah, I must glorify God. Ah. What is it? I'm not telling you. Just this.
it looks like the whole world is getting to know you now. The only thing you made is that she was in the back I was to watch him press. Actually, I'm thinking of a white tower. I don't come there, she was. I'm not in touch with you. Married to this wonderful sister. I got great, that's it. Uh, ah, then she will soon come back into music. Me, I don't mind. <laughs> I will not mind. Congratulations, sister. I'm really glad to hear that. I'm really glad that. Congratulations. Artist, I'm very sure that it's a dance. I will see you later. You can see that again. I'll see you after the break. Have a sister. Sister Shadi. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. I'll see you again. Thank you very much. Is this a dream? 
I'm a minister with a vision. I have the anointing to sing. The Lord has said it will cause my voice to be heard all over this nation and beyond. He said it will give me songs that will set the captive free. The Lord gave me wonderful promises and he has already begun to use me in many places. I've already begun to sit on high places with princes and people that matter. But why? Why should my garments be stained with this blemish? Why should that short moment of pleasure destroy the beautiful covenant the Lord has made with me? First, it was just fornication, a premarital affair which I was believing God would forgive and the painful memory will pass away with time. But alas, how do I cover up a premarital pregnancy? Before November 11th, everybody will have seen it and I must be getting ready to deliver by day. Do you know about evacuation? Evacuation? You mean the literal meaning? No. Slang! Evacuation means removing an unborn child from the womb before it matures. That's abortion, isn't it? <laughs> That's layman's language. We call it evacuation. Does that mean you once committed abortion? Not once. Not twice. Several times. Evacuation. What is it? Come in. Hold on. see you in the church this evening. Actually, you have an urgent message. The general overseer arrived this afternoon and is lodged in the church guest house. <laughs> he sent us to inquire from you if you will be able to travel with the foreign mission team to Zambia in June. You see, the team is traveling to Zambia for a four-week evangelistic program with six other international missionary organizations for a program tagged Operation Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the planning committee has mandated us to enlist two music ministers from Nigeria to minister during the program. Panampasi Paul has been contacted and he has confirmed that he is coming with us. So the general overseer sent us to you to ask if you will be able to go with the team in June. What? What of my job, sir? Yes, I know. I know about it. I even told him 
that you should be preparing for your wedding by then. No, oh, Pastor. You see, the wedding is coming up in November. Yes, yes, right. yes. And then you see, this trip is in June. Yes. And the team will have returned by the end of uh, June. Yes. So the wedding does not disturb her from coming. So I think she should come. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, right. suggest that you try and see the general overseer tomorrow. Okay. He will like to see you before he travels back yes. to Abuja. Okay, sir. Yeah. I will. So that's the message. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. my ministry again by June everybody will have known that I, I've been impregnated before wedding ah, what a shame ah, what a great opportunity for me to step out of this country and minister unto my God before the international audience My vision is melting away like a bony candle. My, my calling is no longer sure. And my ministry is dying natural death. But why? Kisley, <laughs> why should you need to see? Cause a negative change in my destiny. 
<laughs> now, Shadi. What? Stop crying. Shut up and listen to me. Stop crying. At this point, we should be concerned about what we can do to solve this problem. <laughs> I don't know what we can do. What we can do. <laughs> Look, if we wait until the church hears about this, three things will happen. First of all, the church will discipline us. I will be relieved of my position as the church Sunday school superintendent. And then you yourself, you may be banned from standing before the oh. congregation for a period of time. Oh, my ministry is going, Kathleen. My ministry is going. Secondly, <laughs> listen, secondly, oh. the church will never conduct our wedding program. Oh, good. The authority will never be party to conducting a wedding ceremony for, for, for a woman who became impregnated before her wedding day. Oh my God. My mother has been waiting for that moment of my life. I don't want to sing. Kissy, I want to sing on my wedding day. I want to sing. <laughs> and finally, if we wait until people hear about this, oh you will lose your ministry. <laughs> and the press may even carry it. No, 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 no. The question should be what can we do? <sighs> My ministry will go, no. No, no, no. No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I've thought about several things <laughs> and I have come up with one idea. I think the best thing is that we should get rid of this thing. You mean? Evacuation? Take care of her. Anna we heal your wounds. Don't kill her. No, I don't want that. Ha <laughs> ha 
confirm my child guide jealously the gifts and the ministry I have committed into your hand do not allow the devil to take it away from you beware be careful be watchful because I am going to use you beyond your widest dream Take care of her. Anna we heal your wounds. Don't kill her. Years of 
Everything according to plan. What are you thinking about, Shade? Kingsley. Yes. It's a girl. Who? The baby. <laughs> how, how did you get to know that? a terrible dream overnight a man was telling me not to kill the baby he said he would take care of the baby and heal my wound and uh, what happened next i killed the baby and a man appeared and shot me in my chest I was dying in that dream when I suddenly woke up on my bed. And what exactly is all this supposed to mean? Since I woke up from the dream, I kept having strange fear in my spirit. I killed the baby despite the strange man's warning and promise and I was eventually shot too. Kingsley! Kingsley! Where are you going? What do you think you are doing? Walking away on me? Going away of course. I'm going back to my office and wait for the consequences of a simple mistake that we can easily correct now. I'm going to my house and fold my arms and watch while everybody discovers that uh, Sister Shadela Mileko, the popular music minister, got pregnant before her wedding. And then the record is false. The vision is ruined. And then, <laughs> what about me? Huh? Even though I don't have a physical or tangible ministry, what about my position as a church uh, Sunday school superintendent? And don't forget, the implication of this is that it will affect so many new converts unless we apply wisdom. Hasn't it once occurred to you that this thing we are about to do is an act of murder? And hasn't it occurred to you? That this is an act of dishonor and disgrace to the name of the Lord and the Church of God. Kingsley! Kingsley! What must you do this to me? Look, I am trying my best to arrest this situation, but you don't seem to be mindful of the implications involved in leaving the thing there. But you are mindful of the physical implication, but the spiritual consequences are more important. Look, I know this is a mistake that will affect my ministry, and we shall be exposed to shame 
disgrace and dishonor. But, but I got the message in that dream when the man was telling me not to kill the baby. I believe this is, the, this is the voice of God to me. Look, as far as I am concerned, I am not ready to be exposed to any shame, disgrace, or dishonor. Okay? Okay, we can't talk here. Let's go and sit down. First of all, what's your program this evening? Pastor said I should be in the church this evening. Yes, I know the GO is ministering during the midweek service, right? And he said, you would like me to minister in song before the GO marks the papers to preach. Now, this is what will happen. On Friday, I want you to take permission off work. We are going to take a trip. Why? We are going to take a trip to go and remove this thing. But can't we find any hospital around? Look, you've ministered in so many churches and programs. Everybody knows you. Why are we going to go and somebody won't identify you? We have to go to somewhere that is far away from this place. Like here? Probably on nature. In the east of Zaria, in the north. Yes. Amen. 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 Just before we call on our general overseer to give us the word of God tonight. I have the pleasure to call on someone who will prepare the grand with a special music. I'm talking about the person to whom the Lord has committed a special, precious and wonderful music ministry. The Lord has promised that through our songs he will heal many broken hearts you don't say amen to that amen. and the lord has said he will make her to go across this nation and beyond amen. yes i even heard that she is already working on her first music album Yes. And that one will be out very soon. And by the special grace of God, we are going to dedicate and launch that first music album here in this church. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Because we believe in her vision and her ministry so brethren children of god i have the pleasure to call on our dear sister sister shade lamilekon Thank you, thank you. Let me quickly chip in this. Yeah, you can have your seats. Let me quickly chip in this. For your information, and especially for you single brothers, let me your ears. Uh, listen, 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 let me finish, let me finish. Do not let anyone come to me let no one come to me among you single brothers telling me that the Holy Spirit has led you to Sister Shadi. Why? Why? Thank you, thank you. Why? 
because she is getting married soon to a wonderful brother inside this church And uh, we will tell you the date very soon. God bless you. This song I'm about to sing is a very special song to me because it has a very deep meaning to me. It is a song of great consolation in the time of a mighty wind and I believe the Lord will bless you from it
Shama the Shad, Hallelujah. Mm. My dear young sister Shade, stand upon your feet in the Lord. Don't allow the devil to throw you down. If there's any area in your life that you are presently engaged with a battle with the devil, he will surrender completely to the Lord. The Lord will win the battle. Amen. But if you resist the Lord, you will lose. God bless you, my sister. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now shall we turn our Bibles to First Peter chapter 5 from verse 8 and 9. First Peter chapter 5 verses 8 and 9. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom to devour, whom resist steadfastly in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world.
It is conceived within a minute, but the consequences is infinite. It's a drop in the bucket, I hear you say, but as the bucket gets wetter, it will be full someday. If it is just a little boy, make you know they play with sense. If it is just a little boy, sister, make you know they take and do. If it is just a little set and no go spy. Destroys the vine. Just a little black spot, and we lose a shine. Even if it's just a little, Baba make you know they play with sin. Even if it's just a little, Baba make you know they play with sin. Even if it's just a little, your sofa no go smaller. Your children said go suffer What exactly can I do for you? <clears throat> to be precise, Doctor, we have a little problem. She's expecting a baby, but mm. we're not ready for it. At least not now. Are you husband and uh, wife? Yes. First, how did you come to know about me? And uh, who told you I can do what you're asking me to do for you? An Okada man brought us here, but we had been pre informed that you were an expert. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. And uh, you? How old is the pregnancy? Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Seven weeks. That's easy. It's fine. It's cheap too. It's 7,000 naira. Ah, what? How about doctor? A friend. It is 7,000 naira for the clearance. Well, but we're here with only 5,000 naira. My friend, in this hospital, this is the only thing that I do, nothing else. My charges are not negotiable, and I don't ever discuss my charges with anybody. If a seven weeks pregnancy, it will cost you 7,000 Naira. And if it is a five weeks pregnancy, it will cost you 5,000 Naira. And a three months pregnancy will cost you 30,000 Naira. It is a simple arithmetic. No cheating. Are you ready for it? Where can you do it? Well, if the money is available, 
In about an hour, we are through with the operation. All right. All right. Then, you will have to excuse me just to make some preparations. Grandmaster, the Brotherhood of the Black Star of the Cobra Temple, Chidra Kaka, India. Is this man not in Hobart? What's that supposed to mean? The man. This is her. Correct. Now, lady, follow me. It is conceived within a minute, but the consequences is infinite. It's a drop in the bucket, I hear you say, but as the bucket gets wetter, it will be full someday Even if it's just a little Oh boy, make you know they play with me Even if it's just a little Sister, make you know they take and do Even if it's just a little Set and no go spare ya Even if it's just a little God no go come out Destroys the van. Just a little black spot, and we lose a shine. Even if it's just a little, Baba make you know they play with me. Even if it's just Mama, a little, Mama, Mama, make you know they play with me. Even if it's just a little, your sofa no go small at all. Even if it's just a little, your children said go.
Here is the flesh and blood of the baby yet unborn, mixed with the blood of the mother too. This is my donation for this month. With this, I hereby renew my membership as a grand member, Temple 7, of the Brotherhood of the Black Star of the Cobra Temple in Chandrayaan Guta, India. Accept my sacrifice. Accept my sacrifice. Accept my sacrifice. <laughs> Thank you, Sakutaya. Thank you. The flesh and the blood are all yours. Thank you, Sakutaya. Very much in order to heal up with your own. 
Now we are true. We are not free to go. Won't you give me any tablet? I don't need to give you any other tablet because I've done a perfect job. And if at all you feel any slight pain, you can just take any pain relieving tablets. And apart from that, nothing else. Check the last figure for me from from that file. What do you have there? Okay, thank you. Sorry, the ETF. Mm -hmm. Hello. Ah, Albert. Yeah, yeah, it's me. How are you? How is New York? Yeah, Nigeria is fine. Well, business is all right. It's all right. Everything is improving now. Yeah. Yeah. I got your fax. Your fax message yesterday. Yeah. But somehow, the last figure did not quite uh, show. It's not quite legible. I was wondering whether you could uh, fax it you know, all, all over again today. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Next 15 minutes, we will receive it. All right. How's your wife? Okay. She's fine too. Bye. Thanks. Yes? You sent for me, sir. Yes, I did. You were not on duty on Friday. Why? I took permission, sir. I got the permission from the admin manager. I know that. I also understand that you took permission in order to go and honor an invitation to sing those your songs at the Christian crusade in Elorin. Is that true? That's not true, sir. What, what, is, what, is, what, is, what is the truth? Look, 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 look. We've got to get something clear here. We've got to get something clear here. I can't tolerate you taking permission from duty just to go about singing like Dolly Parton or, or Diana Ross. Now, I have no objection to your singing. I mean, you're at liberty to sing. But for goodness sake, if you must sing, then just tender your letter of resignation, give us two months notice, and then you can leave. I mean, I keep on hearing your, your name all over the place, and I wonder what actually is your principal assignment. Is it to sing or to be in this office? I also understand that you are recording an album. Is that true? I'm sorry, sir. Look, I like to work with very straightforward and upright people. Now, you said you are not in Lorry on Friday. Now, where were you on Friday? I'm talking to you. Where were you on Friday? Uh, Where were you on Friday? Don't I have the right to know? I'm talking to you. I've been sick throughout last week, sir. I, I had to rush to the hospital. Mabel knows about this. So on Friday, I decided to stay at home and 
take some drugs in order to prepare myself for this week. I'm very sorry, sir. I was at home on that Friday. That's all right. That's all right. Thank you, sir.